do on the Buckingham Palace balcony. The extended royal family who joined the Queen to watch a spectacular raft fly past including Meghan and a host of little lords and ladies. Prince Louis joined his extended family yesterday for his first appearance on Buckingham Palace's balcony, as more than 40 royals squeezed onto the ledge for trooping the colour. The young royal seemed content sucking his thumb in Prince William's arms as Kate, Charlotte and George smiled and clapped during the Queen's official birthday celebrations. Four generations of the royal family gathered on the balcony to watch the traditional RAF fly past, which featured modern typhoon jets and historic aircraft such as the iconic Spitfire, Hurricane and Lancaster bomber. The royal tradition of the balcony appearance began with Queen Victoria, who decided to greet her subjects from the balcony during the opening celebrations of the Great Exhibition in 1851, who appears as tailored to each occasion. Queen Elizabeth II, 18, the sovereign was officially celebrating her 93rd birthday yesterday, following her actual birthday on April 21. She was joined by members of her family and thousands of spectators to watch the display in Horse Guards Parade in Whitehall. She arrived in a procession full of pomp and pageantry featuring a sovereign's escort from the household cavalry, made up of lifeguards and blues and royals, in their silver and gold breastplates and plumed helmets. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, 21, the sixth in line to the British throne, he made his first public appearance alongside wife Meghan Markle following the birth of his first son Archie Mountbatten Windsor. He and Meghan arrived in a carriage to the Horse Guards Parade to join the royal family, and thousands of spectators, to watch 1,400 troops, 400 musicians and 200 horses march in the parade. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, 22, Meghan, 37, was making her first public appearance following the birth of her first son Archie Mountbatten Windsor. Keen-eyed royal fans spotted that the beaming new mother was wearing a stunning third ring, which they claimed could be an eternity ring, next to her engagement and wedding rings. Sitting below her engagement ring and wedding ring, it was difficult to spot from the front, but viewers picked up on the three defined bands on the inside of Meghan's finger when she waved from her carriage. Meghan was glowing as she donned a bespoke navy Givenchy dress and coat, paired with an old Stuart hat. Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, 12, it was a special day for Prince William, as he and wife Kate brought their third-born child Prince Louis to his first royal outing. They also brought along their other children Prince George, 5, and Princess Charlotte, 4. Wearing his military uniform, the prince, aged 36, who is second in line to the throne behind his father Prince Charles, cradled Prince Louis, 1, as the family watched the parade, and later the Red Arrows, at Buckingham Palace. Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, 13, Kate, 37, donned the zesty pale coat dress with matching pedaled fascinator by Philip Tracy as she was driven by chauffeur to Horse Guards Parade this morning. Her hat was the same one she wore to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's wedding in May last year. She stood on the balcony alongside her family, including her son Prince Louis, who was making his first royal appearance. Prince George of Cambridge, 10, Prince George, 5, looked unenthused during the ceremony yesterday, standing next to his cheerful sister Princess Charlotte, but was eager to see the red arrows fly past, craning his neck to the sky. Kate and William's children have only been seen together in public a few times, and so the balcony appearance marked a rare moment to see them all together. But Prince Louis stole the show, with his first ever royal appearance. Princess Charlotte of Cambridge, 11, a ray of sunshine throughout the event, Princess Charlotte, 4, beamed as she watched soldiers parade through the grounds of Buckingham Palace, and appeared overjoyed at the sight of the Red Arrows. She waved to crowds from the balcony, having earlier been seen peering through one of the windows at Buckingham Palace. She stood next to her brother George, who appeared a little less than impressed by the event. Prince Louis of Cambridge, 9, the one-year-old made his first public appearance at Trooping the Colour yesterday. Louis appeared a natural on the balcony in front of the crowds and when the national anthem was played the toddler prince joined the spectators in clapping. With his older brother and sister, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, he waved at the well-wishers enthusiastically. 
He was also sporting an outfit that looked remarkably similar to one his uncle Prince Harry wore at his debut at Trooping the Colour 30 years ago. Prince Charles, Prince of Wales, 15, the first in line to the throne, Prince Charles wore his military uniform on the balcony. His jacket was adorned with medals, the Order of Merit, the Order of the Bath, and the Queen's Service Order, all for service to the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. Other decorations include those related to the Queen herself, including the Queen's Silver Jubilee Medal, and the Queen's Golden Jubilee Medal. He rode alongside his son Prince William in the parade. And on the balcony appeared with his wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, 14, the 71-year-old wore a mint green coat dress as she appeared alongside her husband Prince Charles on the balcony yesterday. She also donned a dazzling hat by Philip Tracy. She stood to the left of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their family, eagerly watching the parade alongside the rest of the royals. She appeared to have a strong bond with Prince Louis throughout proceedings, laughing away next to the youngster. Anne, Princess Royal, 17, Princess Anne participated in the parade, decked out in her royal colonel garb, before heading up to the balcony. She rode alongside two of her brothers, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew, and her nephew, Prince William. The Princess Royal, the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, famously loves horses and so would have enjoyed the proceedings. She stood alongside her brother Prince Charles and mother Queen Elizabeth II on the balcony yesterday. Prince Andrew, Duke of York, 20. The third child and second son of Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Andrew appeared in his military uniform on the balcony yesterday. He has made notable recent appearances alongside his former wife Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, but she was not present yesterday. He stood alongside his two daughters, Princess Beatrice, 30, and Princess Eugenie, 29. Now 59, he is currently the eighth in line to the British throne. He holds the rank of commander and the honorary rank of vice admiral in the Royal Navy, in which he served as an active duty helicopter pilot and instructor and as the captain of a warship. Princess Beatrice of York, 16, Beatrice, 30, Prince Andrew's oldest daughter, was believed to have borrowed her auntie the Countess of Wessex's dress that she wore in Ascot in 2018. She and her sister often sync up fashion choices for the Queen's birthday celebrations. Yesterday both wore black hats, featuring near-identical white flowers. They stood next to their father the Duke of York, and behind their aunt Princess Anne. Princess Eugenie of York, 19, the Princess of York, 29, stunned the crowds at Horse Guards Parade in a patterned white and blue dress and neutral makeup as she watched her father Prince Andrew take the salute for the first time. Her black hat, from Emily London topped with a white flower completed the look and complemented 30-year-old Beatrice's similar headpiece and understated pink and black laced frock. Princess Eugenie and husband Jack Brooks Bank, who got married in October, sat next to Beatrice and the Duke of Kent in their carriage. Lady Gabriella Windsor, too, the newlywed posed alongside her husband Thomas Kingston on the balcony yesterday. The duo married at St. George's Chapel in Windsor in May. Lady Gabriella wore a peach dress in blush pink hat, while her husband wore a smart suit. Lady Gabriella had been dating Mr. Kingston for a number of years when he proposed last summer. Her father, Prince Michael, is the Queen's cousin. The daughter of Prince Michael of Kent, a minor royal who is the Queen's cousin, Lady Gabriella Marina Alexandra Ophelia Windsor was born on April 23, 1981. Lord Frederick Windsor, 3, Lord Frederick, known as Freddie, married peep show actress Sophie Winkleman in 2009 and the pair have two children together. The two appeared on the balcony together yesterday. He has previously made headlines after admitting to using drugs at university. He is now a banker at J.P. Morgan. He is the only son of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent and is currently 49th in the line of succession to the British throne. Sophie Winkleman, 4, the former actress, 38 who is married to Lord Frederick Windsor, the son of the Queen's cousin Prince Michael of Kent, looked chic in a sky-blue ensemble. Sophie, who is half-sister to TV presenter Claudia Winkleman, 
sported an incredibly decadent hat adorned with blue flowers as she arrived at the royal event. Sophie is well known for playing Big Susie alongside David Mitchell and Robert Webb in Channel 4 comedy series Peep Show, which aired between 2003 and 2015. The mother of two wore her luscious brunette locks in loose curls, opting for a gorgeous smoky eye, light blush and nude lip. James, Viscount Severn, 23, he is the younger child and only son of Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, and the youngest grandchild of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. He was born on December 17, 2007 at Frimley Park Hospital. His father, Prince Edward 55, is the youngest of four children and the third son of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. He has taken over the Duke's role in the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme, after Philip retired from public duties in 2017. George Gilman, 32, the husband of Lady Rose Gilman. The two married in 2008, and share two children between them. He arrived at Trooping the Color yesterday dressed in a smart suit and was stood on the balcony next to James Ogilvy, the elder child and only son of Sir Angus Ogilvy and Princess Alexandra of Kent. Lady Rose Gilman, 33, Lady Rose Gilman is the daughter of Prince Richard, Duke of Gloucester, the youngest grandchild of King George V and Queen Mary. Prince Richard is a paternal cousin of Queen Elizabeth II. She appeared on the balcony today next to her husband George. She was wearing a white jacket, on top of a striped blue dress. She was born on March 1, 1980 at St. Mary's Hospital, London. Lila Gilman, 28, daughter of Lady Rose and George Gilman. She was born on May 30, 2010 and is 34th in succession to the British throne. Lady Rose Gilman married George in 2008. They have two children together of which Lila is one. Lady Helen Taylor, 30, she is the daughter of Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, and Catherine, Duchess of Kent, and a great-granddaughter of King George V. She appeared radiant in a tiled dress on the balcony yesterday. Her daughter Estella Taylor also attended. Lady Helen for many years served as a fashion ambassador and muse to Giorgio Armani. And earlier in her life worked at Christie's Auction House in London. Estella Taylor, 29, Lady Helen and her husband Timothy Werner Taylor have four children Columbus, Cassius, Eloise, and Estella. Estella is the youngest of the four children, and was born on December 21, 2004. Flora Ogilvy, 31, the daughter of James Robert Bruce Ogilvy and Julia Carolyn Rawlinson. She appeared on the balcony today wearing a blue dress a white fascinator complete with bow. Her father James is the elder child and only son of Sir Angus Ogilvy and Princess Alexandra of Kent. Born on December 15, 1994 she describes herself as a curator, writer and speaker. She founded Artvist, a group focused on making contemporary art more accessible. She also has a large Instagram following, with more than 6,000 followers. James Ogilvy, 34 the elder child and only son of Sir Angus Ogilvy and Princess Alexandra of Kent. He appeared on the balcony today dressed in a smart suit, alongside his daughter Flora. The 55-year-old is the founder and editor of Luxury Briefing, a subscription-only publication which features luxury goods such as cars and clothes. Alexander Ogilvy, 37, the son of James Ogilvy and Julia Carolyn Rawlinson. He is aged 22 and was born in Edinburgh. Scotland. Prince Richard, Duke of Gloucester, 35, the youngest grandchild of King George V and Queen Mary, aged 74, he is a paternal cousin of Queen Elizabeth II, and currently 27th in the line of succession to the British throne. He appeared on the balcony today dressed in a smart suit, complete with blue shirt and strip tie. He married the Danish-born Birgitta van Deers in St Andrew's Church at Barnwell, Northamptonshire. They have three children, Alexander, Davina, and Rose. He is a founding chancellor of the University of Worcester. Birgitta, Duchess of Gloucester, 36, the wife of Prince Richard, Duke of Gloucester. Birgitta was born Birgitta Eva Henriksen, in Odense, Denmark. She met her husband in the late 1960s in Cambridge. 
Six weeks after their wedding, Prince Richard's elder brother, Prince William, was killed in a flying accident. Prince Richard therefore became the heir apparent to the dukedom. He and his wife Brigitte became the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester upon his father's death in 1974. Brigitte appeared on the balcony yesterday in a white blue button coat, complete with blue hat. George Windsor, the Earl of St. Andrews, 39, he is the elder son of Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, and his wife Catherine, Duchess of Kent. He is married to Zilvana Palma Windsor with whom he has three children Edward Windsor, Lord Down Patrick Lady Marina Windsor, and Lady Amelia Windsor. Zilvana Palma Windsor, Countess of St. Andrews, 38, the wife of George Windsor, the Earl of St. Andrews. She is a Canadian-born academic and historian, and currently works as an historian at the University of Cambridge. There were more cheeky antics from Prince George and Princess Charlotte yesterday, who stuck out their tongues and pushed their faces up against windows at the palace just as they did last year. The event also marked the Duchess of Sussex's first appearance in public since she gave birth to Archie four weeks ago. But those hoping for a glimpse of the new royal were to be disappointed, as he was not in attendance at the annual event. Harry, Meghan, Kate and others, including the Earl and Countess of Wessex and their children the Viscount Severn and Lady Louise Windsor, watched the events from Wellington's office overlooking horse guards. The Queen took center stage between Charles and Andrew who, like William, wore their ceremonial military uniforms. In a repeat of last year, yesterday's event did not run completely smoothly as a soldier taking part in the trooping the color ceremony had to be taken away on a stretcher after he was tossed from his horse, which then fell on top of him. The officer, Major Neil Hall of the Regimental Adjutant of the Irish Guards, was thrown from his horse and his bearskin hat rolled from his head. He was pictured lying on the sandy ground with his head to one side and his bearskin hat beside him. Major Hall, who was dressed in his ceremonial red tunic with gold buttons, white gloves and dark blue trousers with a red stripe, was seen being given assistance by fellow soldiers. He was lifted onto a stretcher by other soldiers, one of whom carried a first aid bag, and the mod said his injuries were not life-threatening. The Queen wore an Angela Kelly tweed dress with shades of pale pink, mint yellow and gold and a matching hat by Ems Kelly. The head of state also wore a badge of the Brigade of Guards. Meghan wore Givenchy dress by Claire Waite Guller and hat by Noel Stewart while Kate wore a favorite designer, an Alexander McQueen dress and hat by Philip Tracy. Camilla chose mainstay designer Bruce Oldfield who had created a green dress and coat with white embroidery teamed with a Philip Tracy hat. Princess Eugenie, 29, impressed the crowds at Horse Guards Parade in a patterned white and blue dress and neutral makeup as she watched her father Prince Andrew take the salute for the first time. Her black hat, from Emily London, topped with a white flower completed the look and complemented 30-year-old Beatrice's similar headpiece and understated pink and black laced frock. Princess Eugenie and husband Jack Brooks Bank, who got married in October, sat next to Beatrice and the Duke of Kent in their carriage. Mr. Brooks Bank made his first appearance on Buckingham Palace balcony this afternoon. The Countess of Wessex, who had travelled to the ceremony in a carriage with her husband the Earl of Wessex and their children the Viscount Severn and Lady Louise Windsor, wore a green Susanna dress and hat by Jane Taylor. Trooping the colour is a ceremonial spectacle that brings together prestigious regiments and the families of the serving men and women in celebration of the monarch's official birthday. Stands lining horse guards were filled with the wives, girlfriends and parents of the servicemen who when not performing ceremonial duties are fighting soldiers. Meghan, Harry and the other members of the royal family took their place in Wellington's former office which overlooks the parade ground. The Queen arrived in a procession full of pomp and pageantry featuring a sovereign's escort from the household cavalry, made up of life guards and blues and royals in their silver and gold breastplates and plumed helmets. The ceremony saw the Queen travel to and from Horse Guards Parade in a procession accompanied by a sovereign's escort of the household cavalry, made up of the Life Guards and Blues and Royals, in their silver and gold breastplates and plumed helmets. 
the massed bands of the household division provided musical backing during the day and also taking part was the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery who, following the parade, fired a 41-gun salute in Green Park to mark the Queen's official birthday. Riding on horseback behind the Queen's coach were the Royal Colonels, the Prince of Wales, Colonel of the Welsh Guards, the Princess Royal, Colonel of the Blues and Royals, and the Duke of Cambridge, Colonel of the Irish Guards and Duke of York, Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. The event featured roughly 1,400 servicemen in total with hundreds of guardsmen lined up on the parade ground waiting to be inspected by the Queen. The color, or ceremonial regimental flag, being paraded this year was from the 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards, a front-line infantry regiment of the British Army when not performing ceremonial duties. Their lineage is traceable back to 1656 when the unit was raised as the Sovereign's bodyguards by King Charles II while in exile in Bruges. The Duke of Edinburgh, who celebrates his 98th birthday on Monday, has retired from official public duties and did not attend. Trooping the color originated from traditional preparations for battle. Colors, or flags, were carried, or trooped, down the ranks so they could be seen and recognized by the soldiers. In the 18th century, guards from the royal palaces assembled daily at a horse guards parade to troop the colors and in 1748 it was announced the parade would also mark the sovereign's official birthday.